Children's cancer was the focus at the 5th Arab Children Health Congress in Dubai today. Dubai Health Authority officials say addressing this issue and helping patients as well as their families is crucial. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint Al Hussein, wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, the event aims to improve children's lives through a variety of programs and give children a platform to make their voices heard. Khadija Sali reports. 12-year-old Mariam Ahmed Tamam survived leukemia, a type of cancer of the blood. She was diagnosed at age 5. After undergoing years of intensive treatment at the Dubai hospital, she's now continuing with her studies and dreams of one day becoming a pediatrician. She's among the brave children who shared her story at the Arab Children Health Congress. She says her recovery has a lot to do with her family support and an optimistic outlook. First of all, they were always by my side, my, especially my big brother. He used to always, always be with my side. But actually, they were always looking at me in a weird way. How are you like this? How is it possible that you're positive at all times? And they used to see me when I used to go for surgery and stuff. But I told them, because the, if your mind's happy, your brain is healthy. That's, that's the truth. Her mother, Sandra, recalls the day she found out about Mariam's condition. When I first found out, the only thing I did, because we were in the hospital room, I just ran to the, into the bathroom and I cried, I don't know for how long. And then I came out, and I was just, I was in shock, to be honest. I came out, I sat next to my daughter, she was lying in bed, and she just took my hand, honestly. She just took my hand and she told me, Mommy, don't worry, everything is going to be all right. That's what she told me. So I was like, wow. So you, the kids are stronger than you, you give them more, you know, it's really unbelievable the way they are. Their story is just one of the many. His Excellency Qadi Saeed al Murushid, Director General of the Dubai Health Authority, says it is their goal to promote children's well-being as they are a critical factor to the nation's progress. The event, which centers on health, psychological, social and educational programs, helps in realizing this goal alongside the country's growing medical facilities. Today I was very happy with those young survivors uh, who have ambitions, are full of hope, and they are the main component of our society. So we have to protect our young ones. Now we are providing the service uh, from Dubai uh, Hospital. Uh, Al Jaila Hospital will be uh, looking after this kind of issues and the specialized department we are working now within the less than a couple of years. The service will be provided in a very new high quality and new standard. Today we provided it within the cancer department. But in the Algeria will be uh, more focused and more specialized. In Dubai Hospital, we actually met Dr. Abdurrahman. And he was from the very beginning very supportive, unbelievable. The team of people there is incredible. I mean, it's not, uh, you cannot actually, uh, you could go anywhere you wanted to. You could go even uh, abroad. But it's not only the actual medicine that only works, it's the actual um, disposition of the whole team. This position of oh, how they actually behave with your with the, with the patients, the way they treat them, it makes a huge difference. Abu Dhabi-based United Nations Development Program says the number of children with cancer in the developing world is on the rise. Meanwhile, efforts in the UAE have been commended as it shows advancement in areas of health and education, a direction leading to a sustainable future. Uh, the United Arab Emirates last year was 30th in the world which was actually the highest in the entire Arab region. And we believe with additional progress in the area of health, especially the health of our children, especially the health of people suffering from cancer, that UAE will continue to make progress in the future like they have in the past years. At present, there are no definite numbers regarding the incidence of cancer among children in the UAE. However, health officials and experts say it is more important to focus on protecting children, enhancing their lives, and promoting their development. It is hoped that through events such as this, more lives will be saved and more families will feel empowered through education, proper treatment, and the right kind of attitude. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.